Let's start exploring the navigation bar on the left. And let's start with the users item. This shows all the users that are allowed to log into this intelligent assets system. And here is my user. And as you can see, this user has been given a lot of privileges. There's all these roles assigned to this user. Each role comes with its own set of privileges. We cannot create additional roles, but there's uh, several predefined roles. And it looks like this particular user has the right to create new users and assign roles to that new user. Looking at another user, it looks like this demo user, for example, has less roles and hence less privileges. The next thing we'll look at is groups. It looks like this user that I logged in as belongs to a group called default. What does that define? Well, groups define which users can view which assets and areas. If a user belongs to a certain group and there's an asset or an area that's been assigned to the same group, then the given user can view that asset or area. If an asset or area belongs to a group that a user does not belong to, then that user cannot view the given asset or area. Many groups can be created. Currently, it turns out there's only one group and it's called default. So once again, a user that belongs to the group default can view assets and areas that also belong to the group default. And you can see within the group, I can define where my home map is centered and what the level of zoom is. 